Well, we have a beautiful evening here on the homestead, and I wanted to share with you guys, uh, if you do remember, we raised chickens, chicken meat birds, and we processed those uh, this summer. But we don't rely on buying uh, meat birds and raising them on our homestead. We are big advocators of self-sustainability and using the natural resources. So Mr. Hilder was out in the woods. As you can see, it is fall here on the homestead. And he always carries a shotgun. a shotgun. And he's always looking for food. So tonight we have a wonderful meal. Uh, this is part of our self-sustainability. Uh, hunting birds on the homestead. There are abundant uh, grouse in these parts. And when he goes out, he brings his shotgun with him, and especially when he's doing scouting. And I was scouting for elk today. He was, Actually, just oh. did some glassing. Oh, there you go. And uh, walked into a spot, and there was birds all over the place. And so we were lucky. We've got three tonight for a meal. So what about all well, those? we're not going to eat three. <laughs> we won't. We won't. One bird per meal. One, one bird per meal. But what do you think about just raising meat birds and... Well, that's fine, but what do you do if you can't get what if you can't get those meat birds one day? Yeah. And so, you better have a shotgun in your arsenal. Um, everybody's always on the gun bandwagon with pistols and ARs and all that kind of stuff, and they forget about the shotgun. It's one of the most useful uh. guns you could have. Shoot birds. You can get slugged in and shoot shoot deer if you want. And it's great uh, home self defense gun too. So it's an all purpose gun. But yeah. Got some birds here, so we're gonna skin these babies out. In uh... so he's gonna show you guys real quick how to skin them, how we process them. But this is definitely part of our self-sustainability: is hunting, and part of that hunting is not just deer and elk and bear; it is birds. So before Mr. Hilder begins, he likes to sharpen his knives, and this is kind of a nice little gadget too that we bought a while back: this knife and tool sharpener. You see how awesome it works. Puts like a factory edge back on them. I yeah. mean, I've been sharpening them lives my whole life, and I'm good at sharpening them by hand. <laughs> this thing is. Yeah. Oh, that's a work. That's our workshop sharp. Yeah, a tax trimmer's friend of mine had one, and so whenever tax trimmers have them, it's usually probably a good yeah. thing to check out. So we'd recommend that in the homestead because we have lot. As you see, Mr. Hiller has lots of knives. They're everywhere. Okay, I'm. Oh, I'm here. sorry. Okay, so. Mr. Hilder is going to process the bird. He's going to show you guys. Birds are, partridge are real easy to do. Here, you just split that skin. It's real thin. And if you wanted to do the whole bird, I don't. You would just continue to take that skin off. I like to do the old flay method like I did on the chickens. Because I like to fry it. I don't like to bake it. It has a um, tendency to be more dry. Or in my opinion, you cook it however you want to cook it. And then you just take and flay that baby off there again. Wow, look at that. Doesn't look like some good oh, clover. Oh, it's going to be good. And you just follow the, the brush down. It's real easy. Feel your way along. Ooh, that's a nice little breast. There's one. All natural, nice all organic. Being able to hunt like this and supplement, um, I tell you people, it saves on the grocery bills. So part of this lifestyle is being able to forage and hunt and, and we love getting these birds in the fall. They're not quite as durable as a chicken, as far as when you're, you're a little more careful, but it's easy. Okay. Pull it off there. A couple BB holes in there. Looks good. There we go. Okay. And then... Um, oh, so that's what he was eating. That's the clover? It's all beautiful oh, clover. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Clover oh. and some berries. That's his... Yeah, that's really that. That is incredible. 
And so then I like to save the uh, the legs too, but they have some real, they got a lot of tendons in them. So you don't really get a whole lot of meat off of them. Um, but you usually get like a couple bites. So I fry those up and... Every bit, every last bit counts. And do those too. I actually had taken, this is funny, I'd actually taken some fish out, some bluegills I was going to eat for tonight. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He's got some bluegills soaking. And so I might have to have this partridge for tomorrow night if I make it back. Yeah, he's going out in the mountains tomorrow. There I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to go. There we go. Beautiful. You can try to save these wings too, but believe me, there is such a little okay. meat on them that... It's, yeah. Okay, that right. was the quick tutorial. He's going to finish up that other bird. So just remember, people, when you're going off the grid or you want to be more self-sustainable, birds, shotgun, foraging. It's not all about just raising chickens. This is part of that self-sustainability. All right, guys, God bless.